What is going on guys, it is your boy Skillzy and we are officially one day into Season 3 of Modern Warfare. So with Season 3 guys, a lot of operators did drop, some are purchasable and some are not. Now Alex, as you guys can see on the screen, this is a hardwired version, Alex did drop, so we're going to be doing some background information on Alex, where he came from, how to unlock him, and a little bit of getting to know Alex. So if you guys did enjoy this video, like the video, comment some feedback, and let's get right into it. There you guys have it. So Alex did survive the ending of Modern Warfare. Now, if you guys don't remember, this is going to be a more of a brain refresher or, mem or memory refresher, whatever you want to call it. So Alex, at the final mission, he teams up with Farah and Captain Price, and he betrays the CIA, which pretty much he his only last choice is either to die or to be exiled, right? So what he does is he teams up with Farah and Captain Price betraying CIA and he goes into Barkov's gas facility or whatever you call that and so as they're fighting the juggernaut that pops in while they're going in to destroy it the remote for the explosives does malfunction and it does break due to the fight during the juggernauts and so while they're they're planning on hesitating on who's gonna destroy the facility alex says that he's been in assignment his whole life that this is something he believes in so this is something that will bring him satisfaction so he goes and sacrifices himself now if many of you guys do know alex that's not his real identity that's just a cover-up so nobody really knows his actual identity besides he's just referred to as alex and to ghost he referred himself as echo 31 which, in the cutscene, if you guys did see, the reason he called himself that is because everybody thinks that Alex died in the explosion. And so everybody thinks that Alex is scotch-free, you know, no more CIA, no more nothing, he's dead, and yeah. But, no, he's actually alive, and so that means the CIA probably found out about him because Captain Price, at the end of the story mode, Captain Price knew Alex was alive, and so he made a team, including Simon Ghost Riley, which we now confirmed from the cinematic trailer that Simon Ghost Riley is Ghost rather than Alex. So after Alex is alive, this means that the CIA probably found him and probably discharged him as well. Then Captain Price and the Coalition recruited him to Warcom. So after that, as you guys did see in the cinematic trailer, he did give Simon Ghost Riley a nice refreshing look and Simon Ghost Riley gave him like a bro what? How are you still alive type of look, right? So this means that they probably had a connection together within the story mode that we didn't know about and that they probably were friends prior to that or after depending on how they met up and you know speculation of whether if Ghost was involved during the campaign of Modern Warfare or prior to that. Now the way you unlock Alex in multiplayer is you gotta buy the battle pass, you get him at tier 1 and then you reveal his freaking cute face, no homo, at the end of the battle pass and all of his beautiness, right? So now we are confirmed guys that Simon Ghost Riley is in Modern Warfare. It is not a like cover up person or you know he's dead. He's alive. So despite all the differences that this ghost has compared to the OG ghost, it's Simon Ghost Riley and I'm friggin' I bro, but we are getting Alex for this season. And as long with every season, we do get spec op missions. So if you guys want to find out more about the story mode or you guys want to get more in depth with the story mode, usually spec ops does give quite a few um, 
story missions or like something that relates to the story of modern warfare or the universe of modern warfare so if you guys want to get more into detail and probably want to find some clues of the campaign go into spec ops do some missions and see what you can find but for this season the main character is going to be alex the badass alex now maybe does this mean that ghost and alex are going to team up for uh, the next call of duty game or for any new missions that are going to come out i don't know but if they do that's going to be a badass duel bro alex bro they both have such similarities which is why everybody thought that ghost was alex they both specialize in sabotage and explosions and infiltrating and you know all that good stuff alex on the other hand his description is kind of weird. It says that he is trained to live in inhospitable conditions, which makes you wonder, hmm, did he know he was going to survive the explosion or not? You know, like, it's it's kind of weird. But, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys do enjoy Alex and go unlock him. You can also unlock different versions of Alex within Modern Warfare. So, if you do some challenges like you did for Ghost or something like that, you will unlock different versions of Alex, which is pretty freaking dope my dude but me i'm gonna be rocking alex and ghost as my two main operators i hope i hope infinity war does something cool with alex and ghost i hope they make it like a cool duo team up of them both but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is your boy skillsy beer front use code front for 10 percent off on all g fuel products and i'll catch you guys in a brand new video we'll be covering ronin next video stay tuned deuces